More probes have been sent here than any other planet, but Mars has a jinx. Over half of them failed. Before sending a lander to Mars, Pegasus needs to refuel. I have a visual in the fuel port. You can sew the arm now. You got it. Ten meters. Carrying enough fuel for the whole grand tour would be impossible, so giant tanks of hydrogen have been placed at strategic locations along the route. I'm going to yaw the arm. One or two notches left should do it. Okay, right. Straight forward. One meter and closing. Gotcha. Well, it may look effortless and great fun, but it takes a lot out of you doing an EBA. It's something we have to keep a close eye on. It's not sightseeing, really. It's hard work. I keep looking down and expecting to see Earth. It's a fantastic-looking planet. John, I can see our landing site crystal clear. Oh, panels so clear. I don't see any X-motion at all. Coming up on three meters. It's doing fine. Looking good, Ares. Three astronauts will pilot the lander Ares in a descent with its own particular dangers. Instead of a, a hundred times the atmosphere of Earth, on Mars it's a hundredth, which presents its uh, own unique set of problems when you want to try and land. There's not a whole lot to slow you down. How you doing back there? Everyone still with us? to my boots. Wind's picking up. Dust is increasing at your 10 o'clock position, John. The sky's a kind of uh, butterscotch color. Tom, there's dust devil activity. Which way is it heading? I don't know. Guess I'll stay here then. Well, this is, we've got a problem. Shall we scrub the EVA? Aries Pegasus, get Tom inside now. See you ahead, John.
guys, uh, you sounded a little breathless in there. Are you okay? I think so. Harry's Pegasus. Control one Tom inside now, please. I don't care how you break it to him. That's what I call a Martian welcome. Do you want to run through a few suit checks? Yeah, I think that's a good idea. Why not? Uh, it's not as dumb as it looks. The Martian dust is easily sucked up into a dust devil. Luckily, the Martian atmosphere is a pale imitation of ours. Pressures rarely climb above a, a hundredth of Earth's, so although it may look like a whirlwind, it's no worse than a summer breeze.